All right, it's Monday after Easter, and I know it's a day off for everybody, but I'm not gonna take a day off. I wanna get this uh, clay to a point where I'm happy with it. And uh, I noticed a few problems once I photographed it that I need to take care of. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. It's not going to be a very long tape uh, or video. But it's necessary for me to do this. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. Now I've tilted the uh, clay up on the board because I've got to be able to see in different areas than normally would with it sitting right, right, right side up. I haven't done a huge tilt up, but just enough to see a couple of areas that I want to take care of. This is a strap that would go over his shoulder to hold the uh, scabbard on his uh, shoulder. And I'm just cleaning that scabbard strap up a little. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll be talking about my next project that I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking right now. And I'll show you a picture of what I'm thinking. And uh, so stick around for, till the end for that little bit of information. I don't know when I'm going to be going to the foundry this week. Um, the gentleman that's going to help me take all the molds that I need to take over to the foundry. I've got six molds I've got to take over. And six doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider each mold uh, of each piece has about anywhere from two to three pieces to up to... 20 pieces that gets to be quite a few heavy molds that I've got to carry over there plus I'm going to be taking the uh, widow and the widow were piece over to the uh, foundry to get a bid on and as well as uh, snow flower so it's going to be a bu busy week this week and get this thing started to be in the process to be cast bronze in bronze. Also, I need to pick up my Jim Bridger piece that uh, has been cast for several weeks, but they haven't had the base to put it on yet. And uh, so they're wait still waiting for that to uh, happen. And uh, so there are a few things that need to be taken care of this week. This clay is about three years old. That's when I started this piece. And uh, the clay is starting to lose its oils. It's still workable. But there are areas that uh, are a little harder to work with because the clay isn't as soft as it would have been three years ago. But uh, I can still work with it. Little tiny holes 
in the uh, clay that uh, happens when you're slapping clay on and uh, you miss a, a spot. I got to fill that in. And I'm just using little tiny pieces of clay at a time. The idea is of doing all this last minute work is you want to give the best possible product to the person who puts their money out for it. You want them to be proud of what they're buying. And you don't want them to feel like they've been slighted by any means. So you take your time and do what you have to do. I'm going to use some Ronsonol to uh, put the finishing touches on a couple of parts of this thing. And I'm using a kind of a sponge uh, packing material to uh, do that with. All right, I'm going to talk about uh, my next project here because this is the last thing I'm going to do today on this piece. And uh, I just want to let you know that I came down the stairs a couple of times last week and I looked over at uh, my uh, closet, my entryway closet, uh, and on top of it is a uh, clay I did of Henry Romano's. It was a uh, Cheyenne warrior from about uh, the, well, he, he lived until the 1900s. Anyway, he uh, had a very distinctive face. And uh, I have the three horses that I was working on a little while back. Henry Roman knows I probably did, started him about four or five years ago. Uh, he's been sitting on different shelves over the time over this period it's a good piece i didn't want to destroy it and uh here's pictures of how i saw it sitting on the uh top of that uh closet and uh i had those three horses sitting down but at the base of it and i was thinking boy wouldn't that be a cool piece to add the horses on there and maybe have a memory of Henry Roman Nose uh, created in that clay with the horses and maybe a, some riders on the horses. I don't know. Anyway, it's something I'm thinking of doing and uh, it's not written in stone. It's just something I might do. All right, I'm going to... Uh, just finished going over this clay with this uh, lighter fluid soaked sponge and uh, I'll see you guys next time I hope you had a great uh, Easter week all right good night everybody see you next time if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.